のかっこいい変身見せてやるからよく見とけ変身そのどこを Hello, everybody. What is up, Prof Toast here? And today we got a new unboxing. This time we got the 20th anniversary edition, the Kamen Rider Deno、um, belt unboxing. This one I actually got from Amazon, but it is also available on bluefinbrands.com. I will also leave the links to the, in the description below if you guys want to check some of these out. So, yeah, so today we're going to be going ahead, unboxing this, checking it out, taking a look around the packaging. As far as I'm aware, it should be pretty much the same as the original packaging. But. Yeah, definitely would be cool to see because I never got a chance to actually touch or even see one of these belts in person, so this will be kind of my first time too. So let's go ahead, start with the box. Alright, so here we got the packaging right here. Of course, we got Deno right here in the front. We got our cards over here, plus our rider pass. Take a look on the side, we got all of our main characters right there, and also showing off the belt towards the top. See if I can still remember. It's been a while since I've seen the series that I go Momotaros, Kintaros, Ryutaros, and Urutaros. As far as that, that should be their names because, like I said, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure that's their names. But, anyways, so we go ahead to the back and it shows, like, you know, all the stuff it does. You can change into all the different characters and all that. And this side is just kind of leading into that. So, definitely pretty cool. It's like awesome that they actually have all these 20th anniversary belts, you know, kind of out in the wild. Some of them are still more expensive than others. Some are just cheaper for some reason, but hey, I'll take what I can get. So, we're going to go ahead and box it right here. So, right off the bat, we're greeted with oops, our cards that come in here. So, let's go ahead. Get those out because they're ni nicely packed in this little plastic sleeve. Surprisingly, these are actually more on the cardboard side. I know the decayed ones were actually、uh, full on like hard plastic, but these feel like you gotta make sure you be careful with them. So, if I can zoom in just a little bit. So, first off, we got Momotaros. We got, let's see, a 2007. We got the nice holographic design right there. We got Urutaros. You know, the nice, then the backs just kind of have their weird made up language and everything with the barcodes and all that. And we got Kintaros. Definitely looking pretty cool. 2006. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And yeah, he had 2008 on his. We had Ryutaros, which is, he doesn't actually have a date on his. Probably for a reason, like I said, it's been so long since I've seen this series, is probably the exact reason for that. But then after that, we got the main card that pretty much goes in the little rider pass that you get.、It's、definitely really cool. Definitely gonna be one of those things where you kinda wanna keep the sleeve just to keep the cards in like, you know, decent condition. Pretty much just get that tape off of there. So we're gonna go ahead, take these, put them to the side. And as you see right here, let me zoom back out. We got our full belt right here. A little bit smaller than I thought. I thought for some reason, at least on when I looked at the YouTube videos, it seemed like the buttons were a little bigger, but all in all, definitely pretty cool. So, first off, we got our Ride Pass, which is definitely like a pretty, even for like a kid's toy, it's a pretty good size. It sits there and folds around like that. You got to go up the whole thing, then you got your cards right here that pretty much just、uh, put it through this way. So, yeah, pretty much can get. Um, these ones right here. You just kind of slide it in right here. Then, boom, you got your rider pass. So, then, of course, you can put pretty much any cards you want into there. Like, they all just kind of fit in just like that and everything. So, definitely really cool. So, for now, we're just going to go ahead, leave our main one right here. As you can see, it just kind of folds in right here, and you got all your information right there. So, definitely pretty cool. Of course, we got our belt itself right here. That just kind of clips right onto there.、But、then we got the main deno driver right here, along with the other belt side attachment. This is a full belt right here. 
See, I've gotten kind of used to how like the zero one driver was, where it's huge. So also seeing this one, I was like, oh, it's just a little, a little bit smaller and stuff. But other than that, not too bad. So yeah, we got all our buttons right here. And I believe this thing has like some sort of magnet, so when you actually put it over the belt itself, that's what causes it to actually react. And go, oh, okay, we're actually going to activate now. And of course, we got our Deno system. Oh, Deno, sorry. Yeah, Deno, Deno system. That's pretty much what it says on top. So let me go ahead and get some batteries in this, and we'll go ahead and check out some of the noises it does. Alright, so here we got the main belt right here. So when you go ahead and turn it on, so you got that right there. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and flip this around. So, yeah, if you just put it right here, you just get a full charge if you don't press anything. But of course, we're going to go ahead and press Momotaros. course when you go want to do your final attack now one thing I want to test out because I saw somebody else do this I didn't know if it was legit or not is using the was it Comrade zero one progress key so just for the heck of it okay so it turns out that wasn't a real thing I saw somebody do an unboxing of this where they have it go off, but then they put like the pass near it, and for some reason, but I'm thinking they probably had some sort of magnet that made it activate. So, kind of wishful thinking, because that would have been kind of like funny slash random, but no, that's not an actual thing. Okay, I had to get that curiosity out of my way just because I happened to see it, and I was like, like I got to see if this is legit. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get with Urutaros. See, if you do it too quick, it's not going to actually do anything, but so you got to actually hold it. We got our Urutaros, or sorry, Kentaros. And last, we got our Ryutaros, one of my favorite characters. And of course we got our... So yeah, those are the main pretty much sounds it does right there. I do know that you can essentially take this part off and then add the rider... F um, I forgot what the heck they called it, but pretty much the phone that you use for the final form. It'll sit there and it's, it can still attach on the 20th anniversary edition in case anybody wanted to. So go ahead and hunt that down. But other than that... Yeah, those are pretty much all the sounds it does, so it still does work with like the final form stuff from before. All in all, definitely pretty cool. A little bit smaller than I thought, but I don't know, maybe I just, for some reason, I was thinking maybe just a show one, or maybe just YouTube made it look bigger. But other than that, definitely really cool. It's cool if I actually have one of these after all these times. Alright folks, that's about it for the unboxing. I do hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, it's definitely cool to be able to have, you know, the Comrade Dental Belt finally in my hands. But yeah, so definitely pretty awesome belt. Like I said, I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description below if you want to go ahead and pick one up for yourself. I believe Bluefriend Brands actually has it for a little cheaper right now. So, if you guys are new here, uh, be sure to subscribe because we definitely do a lot of stuff like unboxings. We do Let's Plays. Right now we're currently doing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, sometimes we'll do tech unboxings. Like if I, like I don't actively go out and buy new phones, but if I happen to get something or new headphones, we we'll usually do like an unboxing and review on it, and we'll just do kind of other random stuff sometimes. Every once in a rare while, we'll do vlogs and all that. So if you guys are new here, maybe subscribe. You never know what you're going to get here in Proptos Gaming. If you guys did like this video, maybe slap a like on it. All in all, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.